What's up, everyone? I'm Navid Marty for Press Pass LA, and I'm here with Taj Cross of Pen15. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. It's amazing to be here. I'm really ready to talk about this because the show is brilliant. It's funny. It's hilarious. And it takes me even back to when I was in seventh grade, and I remember everything was weird. <laughs> and I also was a weird kid. I would do the stupidest things. I had enemies. I had best friends. But it was a time. And now you're 14. Right? 15. 15 Just now? turned 15. Yeah. Just for, turned yeah. 15. Now, I mean, even looking back at middle school, you didn't go to like Hollywood school, like on set every day, because this is your first big job. Yes. Yeah, so, so you actually went to middle school, middle school, right? Yeah, I'm still in middle school. You're I'm finishing eighth grade. Still in middle school. <laughs> yeah. Is there, is it relatable in so many ways? Yeah, it is. The awkwardness just capturing every subtle sweat <laughs> down to the neck, and it's all the awkward moments and just trying to fit in and trying to get through it all, but still trying to have a fun time. <laughs> now, is there a moment that you can best point to that you can say, you know what, that's actually happened to me while I've been in school and that happened in the show, like something embarrassing happening or something were you saying you're trying to fit in? Have you tried to do something so outrageous just to fit in? Yes, I have. I have done that. <laughs> what, what, uh, something, what is that? What well, was that? I tried to be in the talent show one time. <laughs> and I was like, all my friends were like, yeah, you should do it. You should sing. Because I was in choir at the time. Uh -huh. But I was in fifth grade. So I was just kind of like, you know, voice cracking all the time. So I was like, I signed up and everything. In the day of the talent show, I, I, I just couldn't. I signed out. And everybody was like, wait, is Taj not going to go on? And I was, I was like, I left the talent show. It was so embarrassing. Everybody was looking for me. So you signed up to go. Yeah. And you were like, can't do it. Yeah, no, not I backed me. out. Not it for was, me, guys. Yeah, no. So, <laughs> I, I got so stage fright. Yeah. And I wasn't even on stage. The no, you literally weren't on, on stage, stage yet. Yeah. Did you even practice your voice to go on? No, I didn't. I, like, procrastinated. <laughs> and, at, like, five minutes before, I was like, ah. <laughs> and yeah, I just did not want to. Did you even do call it. mom to say you're not going, or did you just? I just dipped. I just Done. ran away. No. <laughs> Everyone's waiting for you to go up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now tell me a little bit about your preparation for Sam. Um, getting into character for Sam was on the easier side actually because um, I had to step up my douchiness a little uh -huh. bit and step down my coolness and then. Sam, because uh, because um, besides for um, that, he relates to me a lot um, with the awkwardness and the trying to be cool yeah. and the teasing of the friends. Uh, yeah, I uh, the last audition, I sat in my room for an hour just a answering questions as my character. Really? Yeah. And I remember you saying also that, this, when you talk about audition, I remember you saying that on the last day of the audition, you were looking at the script and you realized that the Pen15... Yeah. yeah. Did you go, were you like, Mom, I'm definitely auditioning for the wrong thing, I think? <laughs> yeah, that, so yeah, for a good a minute, I thought that they sent me the wrong script. And I was studying for the wrong script that's something that said penis. Like, I didn't know I was going out for something that which was called <laughs> penis. I thought I was like... What would that even be? Yeah. Like, Hulu? What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was... I thought they sent me the wrong thing. And I thought it was like a very inappropriate thing, like an adult film or something. I was like, am I auditioning for an adult film? What the heck? I'm, I'm not <laughs> an adult. <laughs> <laughs> now, what was the audition process like? I mean... This hadn't been done where you have two 30-year-olds playing 13-year-olds. Yeah. And you're going to be working directly with them almost probably every day on set. So what kind of preparation? Did you have to work with somebody older trying to act like a kid? Like in, in uh, auditions? In auditions, um, for the second audition was the chemistry read. So I got to meet with Maya Erskine. And she was just amazing. I had no idea that I didn't really... I was like, is this a real actress or is she subbing in for somebody? Because I knew it was supposed to be a teenager. Yeah. And she, she's beautiful, but she didn't look really like a teenager. So I was like kind of confused. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it was, it was still awesome because she actually plays 
13 very well when she has the wig on and it the does and that's braces. the thing i didn't know what she looked like until after i watched it then i watched an interview with them two and i was like <laughs> how much time got put into makeup because yeah. it must have been yeah. hours with the braces like you're saying the hairstyles and did they it almost seemed like they filmed at an angle to make them look smaller because they seem pretty tall yeah yeah, so that is something. There's a scene with um, Maya's older brother, and Maya's older brother is um, smaller than them in real life. So they pointed the camera to make them look like they were looking up at him instead of him looking up at them. So there were tricks. So yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't thinking. You know, I wasn't thinking like an idiot. It was actually camera angles and tricks. Yeah, some of it. How did yeah. these guys do it? Now, tell me about probably your most memorable time on set. Was pro That was probably the first day, actually. It was so amazing. I came in, everybody was so warming and, like, welcoming. And we went in, it was actually the scene where I fr the, the character first got introduced, so it was the car scene, the carpool scene, and yeah. I got to improv a lot with them. It was super fun. They, were, they are such... Good actresses. Is so. that the car scene where you, I read also that you had to hold your pee? Oh no, that was not. That was not it. Because <laughs> I remember you talking about that one, yeah, and I remember that. you saying I was waiting to get this scene over with. Yeah. And it just wouldn't end. <laughs> that was another car scene. That was another. Car <laughs> it seems like the car scenes were the most uh, memorable that you will always remember the exactly. first car scene of the day. I mean, first uh, shoot day, and then also <laughs> where you just like, I don't want to mess this up for everyone, the whole cast and crew. Yeah, exactly. Like I don't want to make them turn or turn all the way back around, go to the the trailers yeah. and just to let me go pee and then come back. It's just really, it, that would be such an awkward situation. But the car scenes, the, it was so hot. Yeah. So after every take, we had, we would have to roll down the windows because we were sweating so much. Yeah. And I, like I was, they were always in the back. So what, I was always kind of awkwardly having to like, you know, turn around to talk to them. <laughs> so yeah, the car scenes were definitely my most memorable <laughs> moments on and set. And now, this being like, you know, your first major project. Yeah. What what kind of feelings went through you, I guess, you know, when you first got the job and now that you've wrapped this and you I'm sure you have other projects in the works now, but you know, after getting even signed onto your first big project, what goes through your head? It was just super surreal. I did not know what to think. I didn't no, I I had no idea it was going to be this big. I I knew it was a great script and uh, I had a great role and it seemed like such an amazing show. I did not know it was going to be this. I did not expect this support from the public. Anyone coming up to you on the street? No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. No. <laughs> soon enough. Soon, soon enough. Soon enough. But yeah. I've been getting DMs from fans. That that's so weird to say. Still, <laughs> fans. That's so crazy. Um saying that they love the show, they love my yeah. character, and it's just, it's it feels awesome getting that support. Well, it's awesome to hear. I mean, everyone loves the show. I love the show, and I really thank you for being here. Thank you Taj so much Cross for having me. for Press Pass LA. Thank you so much, and uh, can't wait to, I mean, everyone else to watch the show. <laughs> Take care. Thank you.